Today I am starting a new set of videos. These videos will cover how I have evolved a method for sleeping in my car now that I have been living in my Prius for 161 days. This video looks at how I initially created a comfortable sleeping platform in the very small three foot wide by six and a half foot long space that is available in the back of a 2010 Toyota Prius. This is part of a larger 70 part how to video series that I am posting about lessons that I have learned while living in a car. You can find a list of videos that I have posted so far in order through the playlists linked in the description below. The first thing that I did when I decided to move into my car was to design and build a sleeping area. In fact, that is the subject of the first video that I posted on this YouTube channel. When designing my sleeping area, I had several goals that I wanted to achieve. First, I wanted to keep things simple. I didn't want to build an elaborate sleeping platform. In fact, my second goal was to find creative ways to use only the items already present in my car so I didn't have to spend any money on materials. My third and final goal was to create a completely flat sleeping area that only took up half of the area in the back of my car. I needed the other half for my refrigerator and for storage. To create the sleeping area, I started by folding down the back seats to determine how much space I had to work with. The area was wide enough, but I needed an extra foot of space to create a long enough sleeping area. I am 5 foot 10, so I wanted an area that was roughly 6.5 feet to ensure that I had adequate room to stretch out. I created the extra length by removing the seat cushion from the back seat and squeezing it between the front seats and the folded down back seat. That added almost a foot of extra length in the back area. Unfortunately, with the seat cushion removed, there was nothing to hold up the back seat and create the level area that I needed. To solve that problem, I used a couple of things that I needed to find storage for anyway the spare tire, and the jack for changing tires. I had removed the spare and the jack from the rear storage area compartment to create a storage area for tools and other items that I wanted to bring in my car. So, I needed somewhere new to store the spare and the jack. To solve two problems at once, I used the spare tire and jack to level the sleeping area. To do that, I devised a system where I put the spare tire under the folded down back seat with the jack underneath. Then I could adjust the jack to raise the spare tire up or lower it down to level the area. The solution worked perfectly. With the seat cushion creating the extra length and the tire and jack system creating the flat area, all I had left was to create a bedding system that would be comfortable. I would be taking on a lot of psychologically and physically uncomfortable changes, giving away everything that I owned, moving into my car, and moving to a new place. So I at least wanted comfortable bedding, which hopefully would give me the simple pleasure of a good night's sleep. Well, that is how I created the initial sleeping platform in the back of my car. In my next video, I will go over the bedding that I used to create a comfortable sleeping area. By the way, if you want to watch a longer and more detailed 15 minute video on how I created the initial sleeping platform that I outlined in this video, then check out the first video that I posted on this channel. That video can be found in the playlist for all of my videos, which is linked in the description below. I didn't figure out how to use the jack to level the spare tire in that video. That is something that I figured out after sleeping in my car a few times. The jack is first mentioned in an update that I did on my car in the video on day 42 of living in my car, which is also day 11 of my cross-country trip. I hope that you found this video helpful or at least interesting.
Don't forget to subscribe to see my future videos and please feel free to leave any questions or feedback in the comments section below. And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this video.